Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with air fryer french fries. That's right, since I missed the whole Instapot trend, I figured I should do at least one recipe in an air fryer while people are still using them. And what better recipe to feature than the french fry? And while my method for these is going to be very similar to the other recipes out there, I am going to show you one extra trick that might possibly make these come out a little better. And you're also going to get to see what happens when a chef can't decide on which dipping sauce to serve. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk about our choice of potato. All right, for these, we really do want to use a russet potato. Okay, golden yellow potatoes will sort of work, but not as well. And red potatoes, not at all. And then what we'll do after we peeled a couple of those is go ahead and slice them into some nice even sticks. And what I like to do to start this is make one slice about 3 eighths of an inch thick off the narrowest side. And then we'll turn that so the cut side's down, which is going to safely allow us to make the rest of our cuts without the potato moving around. And since the first slice was 3 eighths of an inch, we'll try to make the rest of these slices 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, most of the recipes out there say half inch, but I think a slightly smaller stick works better. And then what we'll do is simply slice these across the same width as these slices are thick. Okay, so if my slice was 3 eighths of an inch thick, by making these slices every 3 eighths of an inch, we should theoretically end up with a beautifully square uniform french fry. But of course, theories in real life are seldom the same thing. And as you can see, I do have a little variation in size here and there. But that's fine. Relax. Just try to get them close. That's all we ever ask. And then once cut, we'll go ahead and transfer those into a bowl of nice cold fresh water. And as soon as we do that, you're going to notice the water gets kind of cloudy, which is caused by the starch from the potato which is exactly what we want to remove before these get fried. And the standard procedure for these is to let the french fry soak for about 30 to 60 minutes before draining, drying, and frying. And I've done that and it works just fine. But I'm going to show you one alternative method. And that would be to give these just a quick initial rinse and then drain the water off and then pour over a couple quarts of boiling water, at which point we'll give them a quick stir and then let them sit there just like that for 10 minutes. And yes, if you want, you can just put the potatoes in the pot of boiling water and just let them sit in that. But I thought this would be easier to film and much more dangerous for me, which makes it a little more exciting. But anyway, like I said, we'll let our french fries sit in that boiling water for about 10 minutes, at which point we'll drain those well and then transfer them onto some paper towels. And we are definitely going to want to spread those out into a single layer and then let them dry and cool completely. And the idea here with this alternative method is that the boiling water is also going to help remove the starch. Plus, it may help prep that surface to become a little crispier after frying. Although, as usual, no promises. So like I said, we'll go ahead and let those cool and dry, at which point we can transfer those into a mixing bowl and toss them with two teaspoons of olive oil or the cooking oil of your choice. And if we were going to season these with something like, I don't know, a shake of cayenne, this would be the time. Except for salt. I do not like to salt these until the end. Okay, some people salt them now, some people salt them halfway through, but I'll just do that once they're cooked. And then what we'll do once these have been well coated in that oil is go ahead and transfer those into our air fryer basket. But we don't want to just dump them all in. Okay, I think it's worth the extra minute to sort of stack them up so that we maximize that airflow that's going to go in and around those. And that's it. We'll go ahead and pop that basket into the air fryer and we'll set our temperature at 375 and our time to 15 minutes at which point we're going to want to stop and give them a toss. And yes, I know some folks say you should toss these every five minutes, which I've tried, but it really doesn't make any difference, especially if you were semi-careful placing these in. But anyway, that's up to you. I mean, you are after all the Mike Tyson of your fry, son. So you go ahead and toss those as often as you want. And then we'll go ahead and pop those back in and continue to fry them for about 10 more minutes or until done. And of course, that's going to depend on the size of your fries. But I feel like 25 minutes or so is a good guess. And that's it. Once fried, we'll go ahead and transfer those to a bowl. And I'm going to go ahead and give those a toss with some kosher salt. And yes, those do sound crispy. And you know what? They are. For a little while. All right, while the air fryer does a fantastic job at this, these will not stay as crispy as long as regular deep fried french fries. So eat them fast which is what I did after transferring those next to my secret french fry dipping sauce, which is a combination of honey mustard, spicy ketchup, and garlic aioli, which were basically the three different dipping sauces I considered doing with this. And I just couldn't decide. 
So in a moment of temporary insanity, I did all three together in one bowl, and the results were surprisingly not terrible. And it actually worked very well. But forget the sauces, this video is all about the fries, which for being done with so much less fat, really are excellent. Okay, like I already said, they don't stay quite as crisp as long, but considering how much easier and less messy this method is, and of course apparently we're saving a few calories, the slightly less awesome texture is a fine trade-off. Okay, I think the mistake people make is comparing air fryer french fries to deep fried french fries, when the actual comparison should be air fryer french fries or no fries at all. And I should probably mention this was not a commercial. I was just too lazy to pixelate the logo. And truth be told, no matter which air fryer you're using, this method is gonna work out just about the same. So if you happen to have one of these newfangled contraptions, I really do hope you give these a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.